free Beyonce. She a prisoner. Now you had said that you felt that Beyonce was a prisoner. Beyonce. Because I always heard their relationship. Sell it down, man. Sell it on my page, Tina. You know, you is out. Sell your children off so you can have furs and You knew your husband was pimping your daughter. You let him do it. And then you suppress Solange and she's the one with the real talent. It's crazy how Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship constantly grabs headlines, huh? There's always this buzz about whether they're truly content together. And now, Jaguar Wright just stirred the pot even more by claiming Tina Knowles, Beyonce's mom, is somehow behind all the marital drama. It's like the saga never ends with these two. You probably know this isn't Jaguar's first time stirring the pot when it comes to the Knowles and Carter family. She's made some bold claims before, like suggesting Beyonce is essentially a captive and Jay-Z is controlling her with substances. Now, with Diddy, a longtime friend of Jay-Z, facing legal troubles, rumors about Jay's own shady dealings are swirling. According to Jaguar, Beyoncé's mom might have had a hand in her questionable mariage to Jay-Z, and when Diddy finally broke his social media silence after those federal raids, Tina Knowles was caught liking his post, though she quickly unliked it. Still, she follows Diddy on Instagram. So what's the real story with Miss Tina? Did she really play a role in connecting Beyoncé with Jay-Z and the industry? So first, let's delve into the latest speculations surrounding Tina Knowles allegedly standing by Diddy amidst his ongoing legal issues. After Homeland Security raided two of Diddy's residences last month, Diddy returned to Instagram over Easter, sharing a photo of his youngest daughter. Fans quickly noticed that Tina was one of those who liked the post. This promoted one fan to comment, there is something very dark about that woman. I can't take to her at all. Her sister and father cannot stand the man, yet here she is calling him the greatest son-in-law she could wish for. Her favoritism towards Beyonce is also very evident, and I feel it for Solange. It seems like Diddy might not have started naming names yet, but Jaguar Wright certainly has. This time, she's pointing fingers at Tina Knowles and Beyonce's dad, Matthew, accusing them of essentially selling their daughter to the industry. Beyonce, who's known for meticulously controlling her image, has a complex history with her father, Matthew Knowles. Back in 1988, Matthew was inspired to guide her after she won an award and performed at a Sammy Davis Jr. themed event. From a young age, he encouraged her participation in singing competitions, eventually forming the group Girls' Time, which later became Destiny's Child with Kelly Rowland. Matthew left his job to manage the group, becoming deeply involved in their career, even producing their music. However, according to reports, Matthew wasn't always easy to work with. Latavia Robertson, an original member of Destiny's Child, recalled his tough criticism, which could be challenging for the young girls. Despite this, they persevered. In 2002, Destiny's Child took a hiatus, with Kelly Rowland revealing that it was Matthew's idea for each member to pursue solo projects. Beyonce launched her solo career with her debut album in 2003, still under her father's management. However, things soured when suspicions arose about Matthew mishandling finances, leading to a legal dispute with Live Nation during Beyonce's I Am In Tour. Adding to the family drama, Matthew had a child with actress Alexandra Wright while still married to Tina Knowles. Tina filed for divorce in 2009, sitting irreconcilable differences. Beyonce's relationship with her father is reflected in her music, notably in the song Daddy Lessons from the album Lemonade, where she reflects on her upbringing and lessons learned from her father. In 2011, Beyonce officially announced that she was parting ways with her father as her manager, coinciding with her parents' divorce being finalized. Two years after the divorce, Matthew Knowles was married to former model Gina Charmaine Avery. Unfortunately, Beyonce and Solange had previous engagements, which made it impossible for them to attend, he explained to Us Magazine. Knowles made a notable slip-up when he prematurely announced Beyonce and Jay-Z's twins, Sir and Rumi's birth on Instagram in 2017, which some found too casual for such significant news. Since 2014, Knowles has been running Beyoncé bootcamp courses, aiming to guide aspiring musicians to success. According to a writer for MTV who attended, Knowles even claimed to have had a divine conversation about SoundCloud and awarded certificates to participants. On Beyoncé's birthday a few years back, Knowles, unable to reach her, took to social media, tearfully expressing his love and birthday wishes. Moreover, Knowles has been vocal about our 
R. Kelly, stating he actively kept Destiny's child away from working with him after hearing concerning rumors. This stance aligns with ongoing scrutiny surrounding Kelly's alleged misconduct, particularly highlighted in Lifetime's docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, despite his consistent denial of all allegations. Knowles, who managed Destiny's child during their early years, asserts he repeatedly declined offers for the group to collaborate with Kelly during the 90s when rumors about his behavior first surfaced. Matthew told Metro, I was there, and my former wife Tina was there. The thing with R. Kelly was, he liked to record late at night, around midnight. And what was different with his studio was that one room had a recording suite, and next door was a club with 40 or 50 people dancing. I personally rejected the song because I didn't think it was a good song. Not just because of his reputation, this was around 1998, we had just begun to hear some of those things. Asked whether the rumors involving Kelly had an impact on his decisions for the group's career after that, he replied, Certainly, it was both of those things. The girls were 15, 16. He said, When they went to the bathroom, Tina would go with them. They did not leave our eyes. The mention of R. Kelly certainly stirs up a lot of speculation, especially regarding his alleged involvement in Aliyah's death, which has also drawn connections to Jay-Z. Some people have even suggested that Beyonce might have been privy to some secret related to this, potentially contributing to her rumored unhappiness with Jay-Z. Additionally, reports have surfaced suggesting that Solange isn't exactly fond of Jay-Z, adding fuel to long-standing rumors about tension between them. It's been an ongoing topic, with many wondering about the dynamics between Solange and her billionaire brother-in-law. And now, with these serious allegations surfacing about Jay-Z's alleged use of to manipulate Beyonce, it's understandable why Solange might view him as a significant issue. Why did God give me this life? Sometimes it's overwhelming. Even with all that lovey-dovey talk, their relationship still rubs some people the wrong way. 50 Cent's been one of the loudest voices in the room when it comes to throwing shade at their romance. Guess not everyone's a fan of the Jay-Z and Beyonce love train, huh? She said, oh, come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped out, she was like, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like, wait, what is she doing? 50 Cent's take on things often centers around the age gap between Beyonce and Jay-Z back when Destiny's Child first hit the scene. Beyonce was still a teenager, just starting out her journey, while Jay-Z was already in his 30s, firmly established in the game. There's this clip floating around of a younger Beyonce gushing over Jay-Z at some awards bash, sparking all sorts of chatter about his influence on her career in the early 2000s. Now, everyone knows Beyonce and Jay-Z are like music royalty. Their story seems straight out of a fairy tale. They're painted as this power couple, deeply in love, ready to weather any storm. But let's be real, behind that picture perfect facade, there are definitely some warning signs that can't be ignored. Fans gotta piece together the story from what they catch in interviews cause Beyonce and Jay-Z don't spill much. Even though they obviously bumped into each other in the music scene, Beyonce keeps it low key. She says her and Jay-Z were just buddies for a year and a half before they got together, so fans are left guessing about what really went down between them. But I can say, make sure you have your own life before you're someone else. It makes sense why Beyonce wants to keep things private, you know? Cause all that artist drama can overshadow their actual work. But, like, some stuff about their approach leaves you scratching your head. Jay-Z and Beyonce have been through a ton of scandals during their 20 years together, and a lot of it revolves around rumors of Jay-Z cheating. The thing is, even though they're all about privacy, they kind of put their personal stuff out there in their music. It's like, why spill the tea if you're trying to keep things low-key? But you gotta hand it to them, they're smart about it. They know people are dying to know the nitty-gritty details of their relationship, especially their wedding. So even though they usually keep things under wraps, they use their music to control the story about their personal lives. We were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. Then, on May 7th, 2014, the whole facade of Jay-Z and Beyonce's perfect marriage cracked wide open. They, along with Solange, got into this heated argument in an elevator on their way to some event. Security footage showed Solange going off on Jay-Z while Beyonce just stood there, not saying a word. Solange was yelling and even hitting Jay-Z. The elevator thing became this huge deal, with everyone speculating about what was really going on in their marriage. It was like a reality check. 
showing that even power couples like Jay-Z and Beyonce have their messy moments, despite what they show the world. However, have you realized who can be the potential power behind all this? Seemingly, it's Bee's mom, Tina. People have suggested she herself threw her daughter to a trap. That's shocking. If you enjoyed this video, click on the ones showing on your screen now to watch similar content.